Lately, it's been out with the old and in with the new for Lexus. Right after the recent launch of the LX and NX models, we have another new SUV entering the mix, the 2023 RX. We have four new powertrains, multiple hybrid models, and a completely revised interior, so let's get into it. Before we get too far along, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Moto One YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also follow us and interact with us on social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. The RX is a very important vehicle for Lexus. This was the brand's best seller when it first debuted and it's still the brand's best seller to this day. Now, although this is an all new car, it has the same size more or less as the RX that came before it. So the car I'm with here is the new RX 500HF Performance. We'll get into what that means in a bit. It's one of the new trim levels. And with it, this car has its own style compared to the rest of the different RX trims. And it wouldn't be a Lexus first look if we didn't talk about the spindle grille, of course, right? Everybody has their opinions on this. It has certainly evolved over time. And we're now at the point with the new RX where Lexus has gone ahead and painted over the top portion of the grille. Now, when I first saw this in photos, I was not on board in the slightest, but I have to say, I can't believe I'm saying this, in person it actually looks a lot better than it photographs. It's kind of neat, you get this detail from the grill that still pokes through the paint, but this is a very different look. If you look at the new NX, for example, the grill kind of takes up the entire front fascia. So it's toned down, but it's still kind of different. I like how they're evolving it. That said, there's still gonna be a lot of people that are still not on board with this car having this much face. I didn't know that there was a group of people clamoring for a more aggressive RX, but apparently there were, and Lexus answered those calls. Just look at this thing. This is completely foreign to RX models that came before it. Starting up here, we have 21 inch matte black wheels on this with Michelin Pilot Sport tires wrapped around it. This is an RX we're talking about. That's just strange to me. There's also painted brake calipers up here and looks like in some of the footage, you can actually get them painted red too. Um, more traditional F Sport stuff that we've gotten used to now over the years black painted mirror caps here, black window trim going around too, and then some touches on the door handle. Now in our recent NX comparison test, which you can watch right here by the way, we talked about these door handles, they're a little bit non-traditional. There's actually a touch pad behind the handle, so you don't just crank it open, you have to touch on that touch pad for the door to actually open. You just have to get used to it. Otherwise, the only other big thing in the side profile is this floating window design going on in the C-pillar. That's definitely something that Lexus transitioned from the prior generation RX to this one. I thought it looked good before, and actually I still think it looks good now. So I went ahead and turned on the lights for you because I wanted you to see just how dramatically different the back of the RX looks than it did before. So there's some new things that we're getting used to with Lexus SUVs. We have the word mark now, no longer an L badge. It actually says Lexus across the back. And there's a singular taillight bar, just like there is in the LX and the NX. But the difference is this just looks a little bit nicer. I don't know, it's more elegant. This detail right here on the side just looks incredible when it's lit up. And the overall flow of the RX just looks better with its design. The NX and the LX are just a bit more generic. My only question here is this is the 500H F performance. This is supposed to be the hardcore model. And they went ahead and just hid the tailpipes altogether. There's no exhaust outlet on the back of the car. And I think that's sort of something we associate with more aggressive performance. The 2023 RX has the kind of interior glow up that we like to see with the new model debut. There are six different interior color schemes that you can go for with this car. This one being the F Sport has a very uh, sporty appropriate crimson red interior with black accents. Let me point out just a few of the highlights. I love this new dash design where you can see the ambient lighting just kind of glowing right behind the dash. And also the stitching and the, the door panel design. It's all done in black here and it integrates nicely with the Mark Levinson system. The biggest difference you will notice is the new Lexus interface infotainment system. Now we've already tested this in the new NX and you can see our full review on that in the description below. But this is a huge step forward for the Lexus brand and for anybody who owns a current RX, that'll be the biggest difference that you notice. I promised you multiple powertrains, so let me walk you through them now. The standard car will be the NX350, which comes with a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. Next we have the 350H, which is the hybrid version of the RX, which we've gotten used to now that has a 2.5 liter four cylinder and does about nine miles to the gallon better than the standard 350. Then we have the RX 450H Plus. That's a new plug-in hybrid powertrain for the RX model. Details will be coming when it will be available and what kind of power output it will have. And then finally, this one, which is sort of the oddball, but then again, something very new and cool. This is the RX 500H F 
performance. Here we have another 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, but it's paired with an electric rear axle. So it's a hybrid system and a turbocharged four cylinder. The idea here is high horsepower, in this case, 367 horsepower, and still maintaining decent fuel efficiency, 26 miles to the gallon. Should be the best of both worlds, but again, we'll see just how many people want a higher performance RX model. The 2023 Lexus RX goes on sale at the end of this year, and we expect to get our full first drive review in the coming months. Now for all of the information on this car and every new car debut, head over to motor1.com and thanks for watching.